Hey guys, my name is Losi, and today we're going to be going over some visual mods that you can do to the game City Skylines. So when you first get into the game, the graphics are okay, but a lot of other games have a lot better graphics. And uh, a definite downside to this game's graphical engine is the anti-aliasing. Like if we just look at, uh, right now it's on the default resolution. So if we look at like the anti-aliasing we have here, sorry for the slow game, I'm also recording. Like, look at this. This is this is pretty some pretty bad anti-aliasing. Like, <laughs> it looks it looks pretty bad. And if we go to options, we can see that we do have anti-aliasing enabled. Now we're just gonna drop the level of detail for now, just so we can run the game a bit smoother while I'm showing you. Okay, so yeah, anti-aliasing this game not the greatest. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the stuff that you can do to. Um, to improve this so first of all we have the dynamic resolution what this does is it changes the internal rendering resolution of the game so like this window from here through here through here through here that window um, will have a greater resolution or less depending on what you put the slider to um, but it doesn't actually change the resolution the game runs at in Windows so while you won't get like screen flickering if I hit apply or whatever uh, you will notice a big difference in the internal graphics of the game. So what we can do is take this and slide it right up to say 200%. Now 200% I actually find that doesn't impact your frames per second too much. And we can just see here if we reset it, look how different it looks. Just take a look at like all the buildings and stuff. Once we stick this up there, everything looks a lot smoother, a lot more anti-aliased you could say. If we go zoom in here, look how clean this edge looks. It's like perfect. And then if we take it away, you see all these jaggies in it. So back up to 200, apply. Now 200%, um, it is rendering like pretty much four times the amount of pixels. But if you have a decent graphics card, like for example, for me, I have an AMD Radeon um, HD 7950. It is going to work uh, pretty decently, like there's not a big difference in frames per second from uh, the default to four times the resolution at 200%. So yeah, uh, I recommend doing that if you have a good enough graphics card. And yeah, so next we're going to take a look at, we're going to take a look at the ground level camera, which basically lets you, uh, you've probably seen it before, it lets you walk around as a citizen pretty much in your city. So if we hit tab right here. We're going to get teleported down to the ground. And look, these are the factories of our industrial area. Now let's turn that sound down a bit. Uh, I think I have to... Yeah, the cursor doesn't work while you're in that, so that's kind of kind of a bug. But that's okay. We can fix that. Okay. So now if we go back down, we see here... We have a first-person camera, and we can walk around on the sidewalks and take a look at these people's cars. Now, I don't actually collide with anything, because the game engine is not meant to do this. But here you can see the transport trucks that we have, delivering various things around. Uh, we can go... You can hold shift to walk faster. That's a garbage truck. That's a police car behind it. And we can just follow them around. So, for example, we could go... This is our highway connection. Go up here on our highway oh what's that oh that's interesting that's <laughs> that's a thing from down below oh shoot okay I fell off the highway anyway or for example here we could go where there's lots of buses take a look at how they move and I'm very impressed with the level of detail in this game uh, like these buses all have turn signals and brake lights and stuff like that that's pretty cool and when they turn their wheels actually turn and yeah you've seen it before it's a pretty cool car Anyway, so yeah, that's the ground level camera. You can go take a look, uh, look, take a look at the houses, take a look at the shops. It's pretty nice. It's a different experience from what you usually do in this game. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Look, here's some people walking too. Wow, they walk pretty fast. <laughs> She's definitely in a hurry to get their sports car. Uh, anyway, uh, next is a mod that while it's not so graphical, uh, it does have to do with the way the game runs in windowed borderless mode where right now the game is not actually full screen it's in a window but it has no border and the window is big enough that it fits the full screen now the problem with this is if you're running in this mode 
Um, the game does not natively support full screen unless you run it in DirectX 9, but that that's that's further more complicated stuff. Um, just for now, know that the game does not run in um, fully fully full screen mode. It runs in full screen borderless. Now, the problem with this is uh, we have edge scrolling in this game. So if you go up to the top, go up to the side, it, it scrolls um, if you put your mouse near the edge. The problem with this is that in windowed borderless, if you edge scroll to the right and you have another monitor to your right, or if you edge scroll to the left or the top or the bottom, but you have another monitor in that direction, uh, which I do, the problem is that you go like this and this mouse uh, the mouse cursor just goes off the screen onto your second monitor and then the game stops scrolling and your mouse is on your second monitor so you have to, got to have to get it back in here and keep going now uh, there's a mod for that which is called cursor jail by the way all the links to the mods can be found in the description oops I just hit the wall um, all the mod all the links to the mods can be found in the description there's a mod called Cursor Jail, which basically just stops your cursor right at the edge of the screen. So even though I have dual monitors, and even though I'm running in windowed borderless, if I go to the edge, that's the most my mouse will go to the edge, unless I alt-tab out of the game. It will not go onto my second monitor and uh, mess that up. Okay, uh, next thing. Here, let's get rid of this, this resolution thing. Okay, uh, next thing is the uh, no more purple pollution. Now... In industrial areas or near incineraries and stuff like that, you can see that it's very ugly, um, that there is very ugly purple pollution. Uh, so here we should be seeing all sorts of purple uh, grass and stuff. But there is a mod that changes that, um, that changes it to brown, excuse me, brown grass. And uh, there's also different colors, like you can do brown grass, black grass, like dead grass, yellow grass. There's lots of stuff that you can do. Uh, there's even one that removes, <laughs> excuse me again. There's even one that uh, reduces the, sorry, removes the pollution entirely. But for this one, uh, we have the brown grass enabled. So basically, wherever it would normally be purple, it's now brown grass. So if you take a look, like the grass here is really green, but as we get into the industrial area, it becomes brown. The trees become uh, more brown. And um, yeah, so you can still see where the pollution is, except it's just a lot less uh, kind of, it distracts a lot less from the experience. It's more immersive this way. Like the purple grass, it looks really out of place. And it's like, what is it doing here? Um, but with this brown grass, it looks a lot better. And it makes sense too. Grass dies when there's pollution. Another mod that exists is just the Chirpy Exterminator, which gets rid of Chirpy, which is pretty useless, um, at least in the current state of the game. So just get rid of it. Because all they say is, I lost my wallet. Can somebody return it? Or, uh, our vacation was extended, our keys are on the porch, can you please water the plants? Like, it's it's useless shit, and it's repeated like 20 times. Now, there's one more mod, which is the Disable Film Grain Effect. Um, which, if we go to the mod description, it gets rid of the Film Grain Effect, obviously. So, the Film Grain Effect is basically where you... Where you zoom in to dark spots, such as here, and you get like in the darker spots, you get like this really grainy um, kind of filter put over it. And I guess uh, it's to make it more movie like, more. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, more dramatic, more movie like. But on, in my honest opinion, it doesn't look that good, um, especially when it's paired with the anti aliasing. It just looks like the graphics are like crap. But uh, if we get the disable film grain effect, and use this dynamic resolution then uh, the game does look a lot better like look how awesome this looks and if we were to put the like yeah it's a it's a big difference and with the film grain it would look even worse than this so um that's the end of it pretty much bump your dynamic resolution up to 200 percent it's not going to affect your game too much if it does just reset it uh and then Use the disable film grain effect along with the other mods we went over to make your game experience a lot better and look better too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If it helped you out, helped you improve your game, look better. Uh, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more videos, and yeah, have a great day. Bye.